Hi everyone! I am Dr. Vimar Luz, a St. Luke's Board Certified Nephrologist. Listen as we discuss kidney transplantation. Kidney transplant is a treatment of choice for patients with end-stage kidney disease. With transplantation, there is no need to go to the hospital for two to three times a week of hemodialysis or a daily peritoneal dialysis. All patients with advanced chronic kidney disease or end-stage kidney disease, whether on dialysis or not, can undergo kidney transplant. Donors can either be deceased or living. Living donors can either be a relative or non-relative as long as emotionally related to the patient needing a new kidney. To prevent rejection, medications to prevent your antibodies from attacking the new kidney will be given at a higher dose in the first three to six months and lowest on maintenance. Medications to prevent viral, fungal, and bacterial infections will also be given. Patients usually return to regular activities and work if they are cleared by their transplant nephrologists and surgeons within few months after a successful kidney transplant. Although patients must avoid doing heavy activities for at least two to three months post-surgery, exercise is encouraged as tolerated, but contact sports should be avoided. PhilHealth has set forth its single largest benefit payment ever, spending up to 600,000 pesos for the kidney transplant procedure of every member and dependent suffering from end-stage kidney disease. For proper evaluation and treatment, consult with a St. Luke's Board Certified Nephrologist or a transplant surgeon. Happy World Kidney Day and thank you for watching.